Nick Cater. Uh, we had Rod Sims, um, who uh, is the former head of the competition watchdog, admitting that he's not sure Australia has a natural advantage in producing solar panels domestically. He said this to the Fin Review. He said there are reasons to support an industry that has a clear future with comparative advantage. What I don't know, one way or the other, is whether solar panels do. What do you think of that, Nick Cater? Well, it's, he's spot on, isn't he? You, you, you have to go on those things where you have a competitive advantage. And in our case, it's, you know, digging stuff out of the ground and, and farming projects largely, but other things as well. But we're never going to be able to compete with the Chinese in this game. We've allowed them to dominate the market in solar panels. 90% of the world's solar panels come out of there. And there's a good reason why 40% of them come out of Xinjiang province. And that's because they've got very cheap energy thanks to coal. Uh, they've got mm. 230 coal-fired power stations in Xinjiang turning out cheap electricity. And sadly and tragically, they've got easy access to cheap labour. And what I'm talking about here is the, the Uyghurs who are held in detention camps, in forced labour camps, forced to work often in dirty conditions. That's how these things are made. We can't compete on energy, and mm. thank goodness we can't compete on slave labour. So... The Chinese have got hold of this market. I think the sensible thing to look at is whether we need such a huge reliance on renewable energy, which puts us in the hands of China, which is the, you know, the Saudi Arabia of renewable energy, whether we want that or whether we actually go for something more sensible like uh, nuclear, for instance. Mm. <laughs> Uh, and all these questions, Caleb, come at a time when you have the government for private jets, Anthony Albanese, Chris Bowen, each taking their own private jet <laughs> to a renewable announcement in the Hunter Valley, a photo opportunity when they could have made the same point in Canberra where they were without wasting the taxpayer money, not to mention uh, the carbon emissions, this story, of course, broken by Ben Fordham yesterday. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, I can't get over this because, of course, they could have flown... They went to, to Musselbrook, to Liddell Power Station, right? So they could have flown the Prime Minister's plane into Newcastle and the car trip from the Newcastle airport to Liddell would have taken about 40 minutes longer than the car trip from Scone to, to Liddell. So it's not as though that would have been a, a major task for them to, to perform. And we know that one plane left half an hour after the other one anyway. So it's not as though they were that worried about the time, uh, those planes that they took there uh, take 14 passengers each. Now, I've been on a few private planes around Victoria, and I can tell you that when we have flown on them, it's cost us a shed load less than $100,000 to do it, and we've flown, you know, across into Western Victoria and back in one day, as if they couldn't have taken a commercial flight, or they couldn't have flown the Prime Minister's plane into Newcastle, or they couldn't have found some other way to do it. But no, 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 we've got to be lectured about climate climate and we've mm. got to have all these uh, solar panels that no one will buy because the Chinese ones are cheaper and we'll spill all this stuff out into the atmosphere. $100,000, thank you very much. But who cares? It, it's, it's only your money. Yes. That's the thing, Nick Hader. People hate being lectured to pay more uh, on emissions when the people lecturing us, the holier than thou, Anthony Albanese and Chris Bowen, then don't practice what they preach. You've got 20 seconds. 20 seconds. I think they're mad. I think they should have taken the car and stopped at a few wineries on the way back. I mean, they've got a designated driver after all. I mean, why would you want to fly to Musselbrook and, and fly over those beautiful wineries? I think they're crazy. Well, or don't go at all. Just have the announcement in Canberra where all the journalists are in any case. I mean, it was a complete waste of money. Some $100,000 in taxpayer funds. Ridiculous. Nick Cater, Caleb Bond, love having you both on the show as always.